Good afternoon. You all are about to be taken on a tour of the Scott Sherritt uh, Fine Art Gallery and Gifts. And uh, we're going to start out here at the gate. This is uh, our home, which is right next to the gallery. And it's uh, on the historic uh, register, and it was a, a mule barn back during the gold rush. And it was built in 1916. And uh, Big Green's got our flowers all planted, and we're just waiting for them to really, really blossom, which they will shortly. And uh, the grass is uh, still in the process of getting green. This time last year, we had snow on the ground. So uh, it uh, is a little bit different this year. And uh, back in the back is a little wood shop, and you can see that we've added an addition to the barn uh, to, to make it livable after 49 years of marriage. And then this is our little gallery. And it's small, but I'll tell you, it is uh, one of the neatest little galleries most people have ever uh, been into. So we're, we're very excited about it. We have a lot of artists represented, uh, painters. We've got watercolor artist uh, Vladimir Zakhartsev, Lynn Brodigan Boots, he's an oil painter. We've got bronze sculptures by Jacques and Mary Regat throughout the gallery here. They are very well-known bronze uh, uh, artists. Marianne Wieland. And this is... Uh, Jewelry that's uh, made by my wife, Irene, and uh, she's utilizing the Swarovski crystals as well as, as uh, the bronze and, or excuse me, brass and copper earrings that she uh, paints. More artwork, more bronze. And our centerpiece here is a large bronze by Jacques and Mary Regat and a pair of uh, um, sea otters as well as a humpback whale and over on this wall we have a new addition to the gallery these are hand painted gourds by Chicky Harristhal we met Chicky and her husband down in uh, Arizona this winter uh, and they became very very good good friends and we're, she's uh, doing some especially for Alaska and they are just beautiful she's a wonderful artist and then these are by Marianne Wieland they're all um, individually done uh, prints my sister-in-law, Lindine, did this little watercolor. This is an oil painting that I did a year ago of Mount McKinley. More bronze. And over here is uh, jewelry that's uh, done by S Sue Anderson. Susan Anderson, she's just my wife's uh, real close friend. and. She uh, is a silversmith and combines the silver with, uh, with stones and gold nuggets and that sort of thing. Beautiful stuff. Another Denali that I painted a while back. We've got assorted uh, uh, note cards. These are all uh, water based uh, on Vladimir Zakartsov uh, watercolors. And uh, each of these are frameable. And down here are cards that uh, were from the paintings of Sandy Jameson, who's a fellow that I went to college with. An excellent, very humus, humorous artist. All of his um, paintings have a lot of wildlife in them. This painting I did of uh, Six Mile Creek, just up the Hope Road. And 
several original works by Vladimir Sakartsev. And we got a brand new addition to the gallery a couple of days ago. This is a, a sculpture of uh, uh, a clay sculpture uh, by Steve Carner. It's of a, of a hunter up here in Alaska on horseback with his with his pack horse. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's mounted on a uh, a burl, and uh, it is as nice as any that I've ever seen. And it's one of a kind. That's what really makes it special. And we have handmade night lights by Brian Orndorff, and. Uh, We've got two or three of them hanging in our house. More artwork by Lynn Boots, Erica Miller, fantastic local pastel artist. Another one by me. A large painting of Skookum Glacier, which I did last year. And a picture of a bull moose that I also did last year. And then these prints by Sandy Jameson, which are just priceless. So you can see, we have a lot of art in this little gallery. And uh, everybody comes in, can't believe that there's a little place like this in Hope, Alaska. So anyway, thank you for joining me on this tour.